welcome back to a brand new video. Um, I don't know if this is a vlog or a shopping video yet. Maybe we will just combine the two. Guys, I am all over the place today. My brain is a little bit foggy and the reason for that is, well, there's a few reasons for that. So I wanted to just have a little catch up and a little chat later on in this video. But first, we're gonna get this car de-iced. We're gonna get to the range. I've got my little list to consult. Like I said, I'm feeling really calm. So there's a few things left on the list that we do need. And we haven't filmed a shop with me video in the range. I'm sure you've seen what's in the range. It's quite fabulous in the range, isn't it? Again, they tend to put a lot of glitter on everything, which really puts me off. But we're gonna have a little look round. Let's see what's left. It's gonna be interesting, actually, isn't it? To see what's left at this point, because we're not on the 1st of December yet. As I'm filming this, we are on the 28th. Well, we are all thawed out. Can't say the same for myself. Got my little River Island earmuffs. Earmuffs? Got my little River Island earmuffs on today. Yeah, let's just get going because I just need a distraction today. I'll tell you all about it later on with a cup of tea. So yeah, we're gonna go to the range. We're gonna have a nice little shop with me. Try and take a few more things off of the list. And then I'm going to come home and we'll do a nice little cosy afternoon cup of tea, biscuits, catch up, okay? I absolutely love these churches. You know, I love a church building and any old building, especially like a Hogwarts church style building, the 999, it's wooden. They've put a lot of glitter on it and sequins. I don't know how I feel about that because um, yeah, I don't know. It makes it look cheap, doesn't it? So I think I'm sorted for wrapping paper, but I've just spotted these and I'm really loving that midnight blue. I'm never gonna probably do a midnight blue decor, but if I did have a moodier house, you know, like darker colors, I think I would definitely choose this midnight blue and these kind of papers. Again, these large wooden houses, these are really nice as well. I do prefer the churches and I would like a massive display like that one year, but it's too much for this year to have to add to the list. But again, this one's gorgeous. They've stuck a lot of sequins on it though. I'm so in love with these like woodland mice and woodland creatures and things like this. Okay, spotted, $5.99 for a set of bells. Guys, these look like cow bells. They're made of proper like aluminium, I think as well, or tin. And if you spray painted them brass, they would look like proper cow bells. So we've got some nutcrackers, traditional looking ones. I don't like the faces, but um, I will be looking to add more to my collection. And then moving on to baubles. They've got some really nice ones and they're glass and then they stick a lot of glitter on them and they're beautiful, but the glitter, I just can't do it, guys. Um, they're quite expensive as well, I think. If you had to deck your whole tree out with these, like that can get quite expensive, can't it? There's some beautiful ones, though. This one's actually beautiful. It's like um, a droplet and it's bronze. It does have a little bit of glitter on it, but it's a glass droplet and it's got bronze leaf on it. It's really nice. So here we are in the greens section. I love these colors. Well, that's a little bit fabulous, isn't it? <laughs> that's gorgeous, like a teal color. And then we've got this mistletoe in glass, which is really nice. I love the nature inspired ones. And then we have, this is beautiful. There's some really beautiful ones. And then this is quite vintage and rustic. I'm just being really honest guys, but I feel really overwhelmed. I'm just gonna do a 360 and show you how much stuff there is here. Okay, also I'm noticing that nothing is where it should be, like the prices don't say the actual item on them, like they're all mixed up if you know what I mean. So I can't tell you what things cost unfortunately. Look at these little birds, oh they are so adorable, they're gorgeous without the glitter. 
these gold leaves what a great idea they're absolutely beautiful again without the glitter but I suppose you could get that off and then I love these vintage style lantern baubles as well they, they are beautiful and these bronze ribbed ones again I'm loving the woodland um, bits and bobs look at this mushroom it's just really rustic it's really nice and these glass droplets they've got some foliage inside so they're really really nature inspired I love those as well this reminds me of um, Elsa and the film Frozen oh my god look at these nutcrackers they've got capes like I love that Okay, these are nice. I love anything ceramic white at Christmas because it reminds me of the White Company. These look really expensive. This is a great idea. Look at these wooden advent calendars. Okay, now we're on to the gift wrapping section. I am definitely looking for gift bags still. So they've got a full aisle of gift bags. I'm going to have a little browse and see if there's any that I'd like to pick up that go with my decor this year so we've got some crackers luxury crackers and I'm attracted to these ones but they are very similar to the William Morris ones that I picked up from home sense and I've already got some so but these are my favorite that are in the range again these mugs I'm really attracted to them they give me all the anthropology vibes the range seem to have this range <laughs> in store, like a collection of this colour, which is really bloody cute, actually. What else have they got? Gravy jugs, I think, a big jug down there. And then they've got, is that a cup? No, it's a little gravy jug. That is so adorable, isn't it? Look how lovely it is in the green. They have a full aisle of stockings and Christmas sacks. So that's really good from about $3.99 onwards baby's first christmas things like that i've already got our stockings but this green one's really nice there's no price on it again tons of expensive garland when we've got fresh for free <laughs> my dyad i do like these candles actually they're really elegant and then we've got these fantasy candles with hanging diamonds it says 19.99 on the box and then the sticker says 10 pounds for 10 so i'm not sure which one's which okay sensory overload let's go why do i feel like singing kanye west all of the lights song <laughs> so we're on to games and things like that and they've got um, a puke bucket if you're looking to get any teenagers a funny present this year what else is the down here we've got the traitors get them before they get you as seen on the bbc not sure what this is i've never seen it before a board game of some sort and then what's that sumo squats oh i once got two big blow up sumo suits one christmas and it was the funniest thing in the whole world I'm just going to have a little browse at these Christmas trees because I need to add more Christmas trees to the house for next year at least. Look at this tiny one, 70 quid for a forest light Christmas tree. I know this is not very Christmassy, but I saw this last time I were in here and I am really interested in getting this for the courtyard. I'm always thinking ahead and I'd love this in my courtyard. So we're in the normal homeware section now and they've got some Christmas bits. Look at this, it's like a carved sleigh with a deer. Oh, these are nice. Massive wavy candles, they're quite nice. And these look really good for a stocking filler. £1.50 each as well, they're so nice. Oh wow, I love this. Look at this Grecian head statue. I'm looking for one of these. I found one in Home Sense not long ago and I should have got it and I didn't. This is a reed diffuser. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this, it's really tall as well. So this is like a church 
statue kind of a Christmas thing and I'd love to create something with these maybe next year because it's a massive idea what I've got in my mind <laughs> of course we go big or go home and these are really nice as well little glass hurricane uh, jars for candles little forest ones I've got some with stags on though so if I didn't have them I would probably buy these well that's a cute little rustic sign isn't it that's beautiful also they've got these winter spice candles how festive look at the jars if you like those traditional festive colors i prefer these botanical candles they've got winter spice and a fir tree one these are really really pretty look at these you put candles in them i expect well you could put anything in them if you wanted and then we've got some dinner candles these are really nice and ribbed if they did white traditional ones i would get them and then we are in the foliage section. They've got some really Christmassy foliage in all of the colours. This is my favourite. It's quite popular because there's not a lot of it left. <laughs> and then we've got some dinnerware and these little gingerbread salt and pepper pots. It's very cosy cottage core vibes. Like, doesn't everything just come at once? Like, everything just comes at once. So that's not the reason why I wanted to sit down and have a cup of tea with you guys. But, um, yeah, it might be a long-winded one because I like to give a backstory and explain things. And I like to do that because if I don't give any context, the amount of questions then raised from me not giving context, I might as well have given it in the first place. So yeah, I might be a little bit long-winded sometimes, but that's just me. It's part of my personality and I don't think I'm going to change, especially at this age. Anyway guys, get a blanket, get cosy. I've popped Ash's hoodie on. It smells like him. I just need it at this time of the month and I need it for what I'm going to tell you anyway. Like I need comfort, everything right now. <laughs> so um, make sure you've got the snacks, a nice cosy drink. I'll wait for you. So I'm feeling a little bit nervous and anxious and then on top of that I've come on my period like I said so I feel a little bit rubbish all of, all that stuff as well I just feel like really foggy in the brain but it all started in pregnancy so I had my daughter when I was only 19 years old so I was really young and I know I've said that pregnancy can change your mental makeup like you don't know what it's going to do to your mental health like it can change your mental health significantly like it did me and I know I've mentioned that before on my channel when we spoke about why I chose not to have any more children etc etc but we're not talking about that today it's nothing to do with fertility in particular but what pregnancy also did to me was change my hormones and it changed my hormonal makeup so to speak so it just wreaked havoc with my hormones i was one of them teenagers that didn't suffer from spots really at all like hardly ever i remember getting one spot when i was at school and i was absolutely mortified so i can only imagine what it feels like for people to have acne um in school you know where it's really really bad like it's uh, what a terrible thing to go through especially when you're at school like it's just awful luckily i didn't have it in school like i said i had just gorgeous skin my skin on my face was beautiful right up until the age of 19 never had any worries at all just one of them really lucky lucky girls until i got pregnant and my hormones just went haywire and it just set off adult acne i started with breakouts um and it just never settled down so i had joelle when i was 19 and right through my 20s i had adult acne it really knocked my confidence i obviously went through it through my 30s as well so for 20 years that's two decades of really low self-confidence of just going through every searching for anything and everything and trying anything and everything that would help my skin and I just was not getting anywhere at all until one of my friends at work once when I worked my nine to five as a travel agent one of my friends 
told me to go to the doctors and get referred to a dermatologist and ask specifically for isotretinoin and that she'd had it and it's a really strong drug but if if i can handle going through being on that drug um it'll cure it and i thought there wasn't a cure so that was my little ray of hope and i'm so glad that that girl mentioned that to me that day because otherwise i would be still probably searching cosmetically creams etc for a solution now so i just want to say at this point if there's anyone watching this video right now who struggle with adult acne or acne i don't know how they go about it with like with teenagers because it's a very strong drug but i don't know but you'll have to look into it but specifically need to go to your doctor because it can't be even given by your doctor it has to be given by a dermatologist and signed off and you also need to have regular uh, meetups with your dermatologist they need to check you you need to have regular pregnancy tests you cannot get pregnant on that drug it is so intense and it is intense it was intense but it's the only thing that cured it so um 2020 finally so it's not been that many years really since i got cured so after the treatment basically i was then left i had no new spots coming through but i was then left with some scarring to my cheeks both sides one's actually worse than the other i think it's this side that's worse slightly worse than this side so they say you've got to leave it a year so which i did but if you've still then got issues with your skin like scarring for example and it's like really bad then you can come back to the dermatologist and they can decide whether you are eligible for laser skin resurfacing so that's what i did so yeah i was eligible for um skin laser resurfacing so she put me through on a waiting list and i had to go to a manchester hospital i've been on this waiting list for two years so they decided to use co2 laser i think that's the more intense version if i'm correct anyway so we have our appointment tomorrow and we are having two appointments one side is being done tomorrow and then one side is being done after that it's not a pretty procedure to go through but when i compare it to going through the low confidence and just the anxiety and all of the emotions that come with having skin some whatever skin issue you've got i'm sure you'll have the same emotions as i did um yeah it's not that bad when you know to say i went through 20 years of that i'm sure i can get through having this laser done so yeah guys tomorrow is the day and it just so happened to fall on the day the last day of november or the last at the end of november right before i film for vlogmas but it is what it is and i'm not going to hide it from you guys i'm still going to continue to do vlogmas but obviously i'm explaining it to you now because it's a real life thing what i'm going through and i'm decided i have decided to share it with you because i want to continue filming for vlogmas and to wonder what's going on with my face etc probably and there'll be dressings on it but at least for a week um because it's like a burn it's like a, an intensive burn that's what my skin will look like it'll look burnt like it's been burnt off the first few layers it's not nice so guys i'm nervous i'm anxious i'm excited i'm all of the above and yeah i'm just really excited to treat the skin and finally you know feel better about myself and my skin yeah not only is it not a great experience anyway or a great thing to go through obviously then we need to add a cup of medical phobia because i've got a serious medical phobia of anything medical and we're in the hospital so just being in the hospital makes me feel sick and anxious and i can't even describe it to you but yeah add a dash of anxiety and then probably a little sprinkle of i've got no pain threshold <laughs> because i've got no pain threshold i'm needle phobic i've got to have needles in the skin they have to numb the skin so i've got numbing cream downstairs they've given me some numbing cream and i have to put that on the face um for an hour before i go in 
then that numbs me hopefully for the needles to go in the needles then numb me even further ready for the laser because that is a deep penetration of pain possibly in fact i had it last time on the patch test and it was awful so hopefully i will be like numb on the skin completely from start to finish <laughs> i've got over-the-counter medication and i've got some cocodamol because i don't think paracetamol is going to cut it so that's made me feel better that i've got cocodamol and although that's got codeine in it obviously codeine can be quite um um addictive I'm not stupid. I, I know when to stop anything, really. I'm a very strong-headed person. So nobody needs to worry about me in that way. There's no way I'd ever get addicted to anything. I've got a comfy outfit ready to go. Ash is driving me there. He's took the day off to nurse me, so to speak. So I'm really grateful for my husband in this situation. He's really supportive. He's so supportive. You know, I am so grateful to have him in my life, honestly. He's the best thing since sliced bread. He's probably one of the best men I have ever met in my life. I love him. And um, he's so supportive. So just having him with me makes me feel more calm. He brings a calm to my life like you wouldn't believe. And I need him. <laughs> if you're having this done for cosmetic reasons, because anybody can have this done, you can pay for it um, and get skin surf resurfacing from from just beauty clinics from a beauty perspective not just from a skin issue dermatology point of view people that pay i think is it three or four thousand pounds to have this done if you wanted a skin resurfacing done um but yeah just to look younger just to get rid of fine lines and stuff like that to look younger i'm not doing it to look younger i'm doing it to get rid of an actual problem just to let you know that but you can have it done in there i'm not like i'm not uh, judging anybody who has anything done um, I don't think I could go through it for, for beauty reasons, though. I don't think I could personally go through it because, like I said, I've got no pain threshold at all. <laughs> um, and there are risks because it burns. So it's like an open woo. It's open. And obviously, I'm going to have to really look after myself in the recovery because I don't want any infection and things like that. So um, I'm anxious. And I think the last time I mentioned this on my channel, I got quite an influx of messages saying, oh, what are you having that done? What are you putting yourself through that for? You don't need it, etc. and whatever. And um, I appreciate that and thank you. Um, and I do appreciate your opinions and your comments as long as they're kind and, um, you know, constructively constructive. Like I've just explained, I've lived with bad skin for 20 years and this is something i want to do i put myself forward for this i want this so don't worry about me like i know what i'm doing i know what i want i've thought about it for 20 years it's my choice and it's really important to me like i said if you've been with me for a few years you'll know that i have personal goals now in the past one of my biggest goals was my teeth fixing my teeth i have now finished my invisalign just about and i now have straight teeth so i'm really happy with that so that's one job done so yeah that was one of my personal goals to achieve and i achieved that this year my other personal goal was my skin to look after my skin a, a lot better we're gonna have this really deep laser treatment and hopefully that is the worst sorry that is the most um deepest they can go in like if i went to have facials there's nothing that there's nothing that can get deeper than this laser is what i'm trying to say so we're going to do the laser first hopefully that'll work a lot of it out and then after that we're going to go with lots of uh, beauty peels facial peels later on so um hopefully my skin is just going to improve and improve and improve so i am about to turn 39 in January in a month's time <laughs> I have a 19 year old daughter and do you know what I will never be this young again but in the last couple of years I've been rediscovering who I am and like what I like who I am as a person who is Susie now she's not a mother well of course I'm a mother but you know what I mean I'm not needed anymore I've got an adult daughter who's out in the world doing her own thing like you feel lost at first 
So for the last few years, I have been like figuring out who I am, what my goals are, what I want to do with my life. It's time for a new chapter of me. And this is part of that journey, discovering who I am, making myself feel better by looking good, because that's what makes me feel good. I know there's some people that don't care what they look like, or they would never even bother going to have any of this done. It doesn't really matter to them. Just to give you an insight of what kind of little old lady I'm going to end up, <laughs> but hopefully I'll end up a little old lady, because it is a privilege to grow old. I like to think I'm humble, but yeah, I'm always going to try and look my best, and it's just in me. I've always been like that. I've always made an effort with my appearance. I always will. It's like them little old men that have long since retired, and you still see them shuffling about in town with the su suited suited and booted up like don't take that away from him like that's who he is as a person do you know what I mean so and um, that's what I'm going to be as like a little old lady I'm going to have all my jewelry on I'm going to have little hats on and little coats and I'm just going to be one of them cute little old women done up to nines like don't take it away from me okay <laughs> like I love this stuff <sighs> anyway you guys this is it tomorrow is is you know not gonna be a great day it's a great day but it's not you know what i mean anyway um i don't know what else to say i'm just waffling on because i'm anxious and nervous and all the, all of that i've got everything prepped and ready to go there's no need to feel nervous everything's gonna be fine wish me luck you guys because the next time you see me i will be um in recovery anyway guys wish me luck I will see you on the other side. I will see you in <gasps> the next video is the decorate with me video for Christmas. So I will see you then and we'll be all decked out. Thanks so much for understanding, for joining me. Thanks for being my friends. You know, like I consider you all my friends and it's so good to sit down and get everything off, off our chest like this, isn't it? Leave me a comment. I love chatting with you guys down there, obviously, as usual. <laughs> and I'll see you on the other side. Bye, guys. Because they're <clears throat> our favorite kind of videos, aren't they? <clears throat> I, I have got a fro frog, a frog in my throat. <laughs> You're on the wonk. There you go, do you feel a bit better now? <laughs> can't be even given by your doctor your general gp um your general practitioner even